Calving season is one of the toughest times of the year for a cattle rancher. Cows are giving birth in weather that's more like winter than spring. Sometimes it's a struggle for the cow, the calf, and the rancher. A low cloud slowly swallows morning mayhem in a mist. A cow's foot drills down deep into the muck. She gives a twist to reclaim needed footing on wet ground where hazard grows. Sharp cold wind blows, the white sky snows, while slimy thick mud flows. The weather's been relentless, pounding like a savage drum. If ground is wet or frozen, newborn calves get cold and numb. Jake brought his herd in days ago to have them close at hand. He built a windbreak with round bales to help the cows withstand the biting wind chill that devours the body heat of stock. He's put down straw for bedding that will insulate and block the cold that creeps and saps the strength calves struggle for till dry. The first harsh truth they're faced with is to toughen up or die. Cold temperatures have kept Jake working, sometimes through the night. He checks the cows routinely, looks for something that's not right. Snow squeaks from underneath his boot to grumble, discontent. His toes are cold and ache to tell him that all ten resent the non-stop hours with little chance for comfort that they crave. Jake's fingers lust for feeling while he works them like a slave. They grab an axe to greet the ice in their continued feud. The water tank has given in to winter's ugly mood. Small ice chips fly like insects as the axe bites with its blade. Clear floating chunks are tossed out when Jake scoops them with a spade. They tinkle soft like crystal as they're piled up in the snow. Gray tank walls swell inside with stubborn ice that won't let go. One cow is agitated, moving restless in her space. She leaves the herd for solitude to find a birthing place. The struggle here is timeless as she works on through the night. A newborn calf emerges and lies on a ground of white. Jake waits for cow and calf to bond his mother licks him clean. He marvels at her care and patience in this tender scene. Jake carries off the calf to sheltered ground for some relief. The mother follows right beside as if he is a thief. Four wobbly legs take cautious steps that instinct says he should. He finds his mother's udder starts to suck, and all is good. Two curious heifers push their way to sniff this scene that's new. Their eyes are wide in wonder as they stare without a clue. This day is played out many times before the season's done. The cattle herd is grazing in the warm glow of the sun. Calves race round in the pasture with red tails high in the air. Harsh winter weather misery fades until it's barely there. As I was out walking one morning for pleasure, spied a young cowboy riding along. His hat was thrown back, his spurs were jingling. As he approached, was singing this song. Whoopie tie, I oh, get along, you little dog. It's your misfortune, none of my own. Whoopie tie, I oh, get along, you little dog. You know that Wyoming will be 